Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Uh, my name is Hana Alicia Tiosingi. Um, before this, I was uh, a Buddhist. I was working in government sector now and meanwhile doing my studies in UniSM. I was a Buddhist and it was from generations that I have remained Buddhist. I follow my parents' religion. So I did pray sometimes, not every day. Um, we pray whatever it has, festival, celebrations, or we have been told by our parents that we have to pray. But from there, I, I just do what others Buddhists do. I came to realize the beauty of Islam when I was came back from work one day uh, back in last year. That time I heard some Azan. I don't know from where there's no one in my house will read Azan because most of them are all Buddhists. So I that time I was confused. I don't know what is happening to me. So I find out that from my friends and from my um, colleagues that they say probably this is a sign for you you should go further to look what is the purpose of the voice comes to you that was pretty clear and you you can basically say that it's not from a human being it's from somebody else and he has a very calm voice that really make yourself feel peace so um, why I would say that is a hidayah because normally people don't see that every day happen around you um, so I'm very thankful that um, God Allah give me this hidayah that eventually helped me to become who I am now so eventually I came to the river class every week so from there I get to know a lot of people in IPSI which is Abang Kamaludin, Kasara, you know, Abang Aslan. There's a lot of people who came and they really got me well. As I would say as an NGO who are in Penang itself, I can see uh, IPSI really did his duty as a Muslim, as a Muslimi, as a Muslima, as it guide others to the right path of life. So, don't miss out. Come to our river class in IPSI. Understand about your living around you and understand what is Islam really is. Don't believe the media and believe in the Quran itself as it will guide you to the right path. What is happening to me after I revert to Islam? The story never ends there. We keep on learning the basic fadu'ai about Islam, what you should do and what you should not do. From there, I find the true meaning of my life, which I never had felt before when I was a Buddhist. I learned how to be really tolerant and I learned how to really respect my elderly, which I don't do that when I was a Buddhist. You see, um, basically before this, my relationship with my parents are not really good. So they are working in overseas, I'm staying in Malaysia. So I don't feel the family bond. So when Islam came in and Islam told me that, Hana, you have to be really patient with what your family are. They are your family, you cannot just break the, bo the bonds. You have to go really near them and understand their situation and your situation. Besides that, when I, when I reverted into Islam, I truly learned about the beauty as such as fasting. Before this, when I was a Buddhist, during the month of Ramadan, I would criticize those Muslim people. You know, they park their car anywhere, they have their pasam alam, they eat, and they just don't bother about other people. But when I was, when I am an Islam now, I understand the the feel of going to Ramadan, buka posa together, the feel of enjoyment that you fast the whole day to redeem your dosa, you know, to to tell God that you are so sorry for the sins that you have done. That is beautiful. Imagine how many thousand people in Malaysia actually did that. Fasting is very helpful. It helps in your health. It helps you to grow, to be a patient person, to believe in Him. 
And Alhamdulillah, I did that. I don't believe that I can fast, you know. Seriously, I never believe that I can fast. You know, I have the pre- um, the perceptions that fasting is ridiculous for me. It's impossible for me. But with God wills, with Allah, I did it well. And I don't feel any feelings of hungry, you know, in the during the mana that I fast. Probably people say that this is your own imagination. But for me, I know something in me tell me that you must be yourself today, hang in there, you will make it. Something told me, encouraged me to go on every single day. And I can feel that I totally changed. Before this, I used to be a very materialistic person. Anything in life, it has to do with money. And I never bother about people's life. You know, I just live in my own world. But when I am a Muslim now, I tend to see things differently. I carry out dagwa towards my friends who is Muslim, but they are Muslim in IC, but not Muslim in their soul. So I exchange my my journey to them. It's something that we don't do it in other phase of life. I would say like you don't you don't do it any time. You know, when you are Buddhist, you only did it when you realize there is only one God in our life which is Allah. When you realize this, eventually you will know what is the right thing and what is the wrong thing. So from there, it actually guides me to to my daily life, to how to differentiate the good thing and the bad thing, what should we do and what should we not do. It gives us rational that I wasn't really heavy back in the life when I was a Buddhist. Yeah, it's something very beautiful about Islam. People have to be there to understand Islam by themselves instead of hearing from other people. Because God always tells us that the truth only can be found in Quran itself, not the words of human beings. Rabbana ya Rabbana, Rabbana ya Rabbana. كن فريدا عش بفخر في الحياة لا تبالي فالمعالي بالتحدي لا سوى كن سعيدا كن فريدا عش بفخر في الحياة لا تبالي فالمعالي بالتحدي لا سوى بالتحدي لا سوى حرر النفس ولا